Doctor, let's start by talking about uh, behavior disorders, uh, ADHD, uh, things like that. Very prevalent, it seems, these days. Do we know exactly what causes those yet? Or, you know, a lot of people say they're just diagnosed better. Which, which way do we lean? Well, there's been a constant debate over, over several decades about whether nature versus nurture, and now it's becoming quite clear that people with ADHD or hyperactivity or learning problems or even behavior problems, that they, uh, that they are born with a predisposition for these problems. And uh, yes, there are environmental influences that can make them more pronounced or less, less serious, but and, and what it amounts to are inborn imbalances in brain chemistry. And it turns out that um, mainstream medicine tries to correct these with medications, primarily amphetamines and stimulants, such as Ritalin and Adderall. But uh, we now know that they can be corrected quite nicely without drugs using um, uh, individualized nutrient therapy. So, so if, if there's an imbalance, can we test for that? Can we find a definite yes, you have this issue, no, you don't? Exactly right. We, uh, it's a medical, um, it's a medical uh, system, and uh, basically one has to do some blood and urine chemical testing along with uh, a medical history to get knowledge of the patient, and, and that leads to a diagnosis of chemical imbalance, if there is one, mm -hmm. and then that leads to the, the treatment. So what are some of the symptoms or warning signs that may be a little bit different than a kid that's just, oh, he's just being a kid or he's active and things like that? What do you, what do you look for? Well, very often you don't find out that there's a real problem until they go to school because right. when you have kids in the, in, the, in the twos and the threes and the fours, uh, they're all kind of, you know. Um, they're all free, problems. They're free spirits. <laughs> and, but the time you really know is when the first time you go to preschool or to kindergarten and you start getting calls from the teacher all the time and you hear about distractibility, uh, hyperactivity, inability to focus and concentrate, um, and in some cases, bad behavior. Mm -hmm. That's when you, you really a family usually finds out for the first time. And so what would, what would make a, a parent look further into that? Well, normally they would first go to their pediatrician, and the pediatrician would say, mm, yeah, uh, you have a problem, and they would refer them someplace, okay. and uh, probably someplace for an evaluation unless the school system provides evaluation, and then uh, they might get a diagnosis of attention deficit disorder. But then the question is what to do to try mm -hmm. to remediate it and to, to help this child. So a lot of times it's prescription drugs are the answer to, to uh, you know, taking care of some of the, the children that have these problems. What are some of the more common prescription drugs that are prescribed for this? Well, for about 40 or 50 years, the mainstay, mainstay has been a Ritalin. And that's a drug that's aimed at enhancing uh, dopamine activity in the brain, which is, is considered usually to be the issue. And now there are other drugs, uh, especially um, Adderall is becoming more popular. But basically, they're stimulant medications okay. that have a sort of an opposite effect of hyperactive kids, which is interesting. If you give a, if you give, you or I were to take a stimulant medication, it would sort of hype us up. Mm -hmm. But if you take a hyperactive child, it, it may very well calm them down. So if they're, so why is that? What is it doing? What are those medications actually doing inside the body? Well, it has a lot to do with neurotransmitters, especially uh, serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. And what they do is um, they, they have a beneficial effect on, on many children, but not all of them. Some, some children get worse. In the, clinic, in the clinical uh, work that I've done, I've worked with 5,600 cases of, uh, of um, ADHD. And uh, these kids are very different. Uh, some of them are lethargic, others are hyperactive. Some have great behavior, others are, are oppositional defiant or possibly even violent. So there's a great diversity and you have to find out specifically what kind of brain abnormalities they have, brain chemistry abnormalities. Mm -hmm. So are there are a lot of times where, you, where that's not determined and they're still just given the prescription drugs? Yeah, most of the patients that we've seen who came to us for a more natural therapy uh, had already been through the, the medication mm -hmm. approach. And in some cases, in many cases, they said that it actually helped the ap academics but caused other problems. The number one complaint was loss of appetite and stunting of growth. There were a lot of children we saw who had growth charts where they stopped growing when they started the, the amphetamine. Um, other people said that it made them worse, and in, in many cases there was a withdrawal effect. If whenever they would go off the Ritalin or the Adderall or the, whatever the stimulant was, there would be pretty nasty behavior uh, for possibly hours 
in some cases, days. So there's a withdrawal effect from stopping these things. Mm -hmm. 